about finding properties in uh, New Zealand so actually it is not that easy in here so uh, uh, there is a lot of competition for finding properties and uh, there are some ways that you can do one is go through Facebook advertisements the other one is uh, go to the major companies like Harcourts or Barefoot and Thompson's they do the property rentals actually and uh, they have posted their ads in trade me or other website and the problem is they don't like to give their properties for newcomers like us who do not have a stream new zealand actually on the other hand facebook marketplace is very useful but options are less we came as a family actually by booking a airbnb property for like 10 days and while we were there we look for, uh, we looked for these properties and booked uh, for giving them Viewing is important since uh, we have to first check the property is good for us and or suitable and at the viewing time um, you should actually impress the property manager and say where are you work I always study and tell like uh, 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 you like it if you like it actually and uh, and also you are very new to the country but you'd like to apply so after that you have to apply for the property and uh, when you are applying uh, you should put your reporting manager the course coordinate as a reference and uh, um, for work visa here i put my uh, reporting manager as well as the hr manager who worked with me during the interviews and uh, i informed them about this uh, my rental requirement actually also we built up a good connection with our airbnb property owner and uh, she agreed to be our current landlord and reference us actually referencing uh, is very much important uh, for any uh, property uh, purchase or any something like that in New Zealand they definitely call them and check and uh, and the second step I added my uh, job offer details and the agreement and uh, three months of Sri Lankan bank statements to prove that I'm financially stable and strong enough to handle the rents actually uh, because uh, I, when I'm applying this I did not have a bank account in New Zealand that's why and uh, all of these details need to be added uh, in as your uh, property application within your property ex application actually after the application submission they actually uh, choose us as their uh, tenants and actually after that the process was very smooth and uh, you can choose who's your electricity and gas provider and the broadband provider and there's a service called moving hub in new zealand they will do everything set up for you and actually everything was uh, there when we uh, moved to the house and the agreed date also the other thing is you need to pay the bond for the house as well as the rent a uh, couple of weeks rent in advance before moving to the house and that is how we did it in like less than one week and uh, thank you very much for watching